Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this Polestar 2. Fantastic looking car, the Polestar, I think. Um, looks really nice in the uh, uh, guys call it sort of denim, I can't remember what the colour is actually called, but it's a dark sort of bluish grey. Um, this particular model is the long range, uh, long range single motor, um, giving this car a good sort of 300 miles worth of uh, driving range, depending on the time of year and your particular style of driving. Um, other stats on this car, let's have a look. Um, low miles, very low miles in fact, only done 5,000, even done 4,500 miles. And um, let's have a look. Uh, MOT is not due until the end of November next year. And service not due until well the end of June next year. So yeah, nothing to worry about on this car for absolutely ages. Um, uh, it looks great. It's a lovely colour and it's in fantastic condition as well, like you would expect really from a car that's done uh, this fewer miles. But I'll go around the car nonetheless, and I will um, point out any little marks there are that. Um, I can find and see. Um, there isn't going to be a lot to point out, I'm afraid. Well, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm glad there isn't a lot to point out. And it's in lovely condition, especially when it's a car like this. I mean, there's. I feel almost silly pointing them out, but there's a couple of tiny little sort of scratch marks on the boot sill. But to be honest there, well, as you can see from a few foot away, I mean you, you can't see anything. It's only if you're up close studying trying to trying to find things. There's, again I feel silly pointing it out but there's the tiniest little bit of marking on this this alloy here. I mean it's it's nothing really. The rest of the alloys are in perfect condition. And you're not given the low miles this car's done, I bet there probably isn't even a stone chip or two in there. Wanted to find. I mean, there's a little stone chip just there. There you go. But that's about it. So, really, it's in incredibly good condition. Like I say, you've got that little stone chip on the, uh, on the bonnet. You know, so nothing, you know, nothing sort of scratches on the. The, the boot sill, and then a little bit of nothing on one of the alloys. Very nice car, the Polestar. I mean, it's um, you know, it's a real quality build, really nicely put together, very refined in its drive. You've got a lovely infotainment system that runs Android Auto. You've got Apple CarPlay as well, you can put on there. You've got reversing camera. Uh, nice adaptive cruise control system, digital dash, uh, you know, electric seats, all the usual things you'd expect from a, a nice high quality premium car like this. Nice practical sizing too. And as you can see it's lovely condition inside. Decent sized boot as well. More practical than a Model 3, I would say. You've got extra storage underneath there as well. Pull through hatch. Really, really nice. You've got a powered lift gate as well. That's a nice thing to have. In the boot, we'll be putting three pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So, this car will come supplied with a lead that you can plug into any normal main socket so you can charge the car from that. Um, so, you don't even need to necessarily need a charge point, at least not initially. Uh, and there you have it. If you're looking for a really nice condition, uh, low miles, Polestar 2 at a good value price point, you know, this could be the perfect car for you. But it's here on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or a viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, well, be sure to check out our Polestar content on our website and our YouTube channel. Hope you'll find that video helpful. And hopefully, we're going to speak to you soon.